compete, and this is the place for them. Preliminary bout brings us to four minute rounds of mixed martial arts, 190 pound weight limit. The sponsors are Gutchet and Everland. Introducing Bert from the blue corner, out of the gold team fighters, trained by George Macaco. Wearing the black shorts, he weighed in at 187 and a half pounds. From Newark, New Jersey, welcome please, Rubens Lopez. And the cross the ring ready for battle out of the red corner. From Team Sarah Longo, trained by Ray Longo, the Sarah Brothers, and Peter Drago Cell. He weighed in at 190 pounds and is wearing the red and black trunks from Baldwin, Long Island. Welcome, please, Chris Weidman! Well, Garb, no question who the crowd's behind in this fight. Absolutely. I think R Lopez is fighting two fighters in this one. I'm always a little jealous of uh, Peter Neglia because he's got my ring announcing gig for the run. <laughs> Two guys making their debut tonight, Garb. Actually, both look pretty comfortable. Absolutely. You're going to see some nice. Whoa! Weidman goes for the Greco throw. Underhook throws Lopez. Lopez, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, should be comfortable down here, but Weidman's got a great L lock on that arm. Far side L lock. Let's it go to look for some ground and pound, but maintaining that underhook on the far side. Wrestlers, man, four-time All-American. You see the strength in his hips. Lopez is not able to move Weidman. No, this is tough for Lopez because, like you said, he's a wrestler on top, and he's in his world right now. Lopez trying to actually, because he can't create space to turn towards him. There you see hip escape, but can't make space. Actually started running away from Weidman there for a second. Weidman transitions to the north-south. He's looking for that far side arm. You can see him running around that arm, trying to set up an arm bar on the far side. Lopez knows what he's going for. The question is, does he have the strength to stop it? Very, gr very nice gr top work by a debut fighter here. This is something that Lou Neglia is famous for. Find guys that have that little bit of ability. Something that says this guy's got a fighting shot. Oh yeah, for sure. So far in this fight, no question that Weidman's shown that. Uh, locks up the arm bar now. Going for a chicken wing, trying to escape that hand up over Lopez's hip. Weidman has his own submissions. Uh, he He's got good. it. He's got it. Done. That's it. Beautiful display by Chris Weidman. Got that key lock on the hand. Used that herky-jerky motion to escape that arm. And he didn't stop cranking until the ref stepped in. Not a bad submission for a wrestler. No, he's obviously been doing his work with Longo Brothers, or with the Sarah Brothers and Drago Cell. I'll tell you what, Garb, interesting. He came out through that jab right off the bat. Obviously, work with Ray Longo working off for Chris Weidman also. Absolutely. Weidman showing that respect. You very rarely do you ever see a wrestler with an ego. It's a beautiful thing. A guy that makes that kind of a transition. Check See out that, that throw, man. What a beautiful throw by Weidman. Does that upper body hip toss. Greco Roman throw. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and 35 seconds of round one, a tap out by shoulder lock. The winner came out of the red corner. Chris Weidman. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulating our bow winner on behalf of our sponsor, that, that kind of success wrestling. Yes, find a place to go. Eric, visit our sponsor booth in the lobby for all your martial arts gear. Ted Diaz and Eric from Gutchek, our bow winner, Chris Whiteman. Two minutes earlier, trying to rip his arm out of his shoulder, but man.